Hey, today we are going to talk about fractionated modes and we will start with uh, uh, encoding of fractionated modes because understanding a little bit uh, about the encoding would help uh, with the decoding of the cipher. Okay, so let's go. So we have a simple sentence. My name is Tom. And to start decoding, we need the Morse code table. And the first step uh, as part of this uh, process would to uh, write the plain text in Morse code. So that's what we are going to do. And I just uh, spread out the sentence so that uh, the Morse code is below each of these, these words. So uh, to start writing Morse code, we see this is M. The M is mapped to two dashes out here. So we'll start with that. Y is uh, dash, dot, dash, dash. And in Morse code, at the end of each letter, there is a cross or an X to indicate that the letter has ended. So we'll go ahead and do that. So M, X, and this is for Y. And at the end of each word, there is an additional X. So here we will have two crosses to indicate that the word is ended. Now we'll continue here. Name is dash and dot. A is dot and dash. M is again two dashes. And E is a dot. So we'll continue. Go ahead and do that. Uh, so we got this. N, A, M, and E. Uh, similarly, if we go along, I is two dots, S is three dots. Again here, uh, two crosses. One cross is for ending of the uh, letter and other to indicate that the word has also ended. Similarly, we'll go ahead, I, S, and the end of the word. And we'll go ahead, Uh, we'll go ahead with Tom. So T is dash, O is triple dash, and M is again two dashes. So this is the uh, Morse encoding for the sentence, for the plain text we had. Now, as part of the next thing, what we will do here is we will break up the Morse code into set of three characters. So that is the Morse fraction. So we'll we'll break this whole thing into sets of three. Uh, so first two, three characters, second three characters out here, right? The next three characters here, right? Similarly, we have broken it up into a set of characters. Uh, and now we will have this replacement table. And uh, in step three, what here we are doing is we are going to assign an alphabet letter to each of the three character set using a key. In this case, we will use the key code buster. So, so th this works very similar to the K1 alphabet. K1 alphabet aristocrat, wherein it can, you start with a keyword. So here our keyword is, uh, is code busters. So we'll write it here. And then once you have, you are done with the, with the keyword, you continue uh, filling in the other letters in the alphabet starting from A. So in this case, code will have B here, U here, S, T, E is already taken. So we'll have R. And from here, we will start doing A, B, C, D are already there. E is also there. So we'll start here F. So that's what that's what will happen, right? So that will give us the mapping of each alphabet letter uh, to the three character set. Now, once we have done that, we assign, uh, we use the map mapping table to assign values to the Morse fraction. So we we divided into uh, three set character sets of three characters here. And now we will assign values. So dash dash x according to this is j dash dash x. So j, so this will be assigned j. The next uh, three character set is dash dot dash. So dash dot dash is f. 
So that gets assigned here, right? So similarly, we will continue building the, the ciphertext for the uh, Morse fraction. So this is it, right? We keep going on dash dot x. So dash dot x is g out here, uh, dot dash x, dot dash x is u, dash dash x is j, dot xx is dot xx is r, right? So we continue building, building these things. Uh, and uh, using the mapping table. And finally, this is what we get. So the fractionated mode cipher for my name is Tom using uh, this uh, code buster as the key is this, this phrase, this set of uh, letters. Okay, hope this was helpful and it will help when we start the decoding of uh, fractionated Morse ciphers. Thank you.